Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic instantaneous velocity. We know instantaneous velocity of a moving particle is its velocity at any given moment. Now, how to find the instantaneous velocity? So, to find the instantaneous velocity at a given time x naught, uh, where y equal to f of x is the position uh, of the particle or at the time x. First, we need to find the average velocity over the interval x naught to x naught plus delta x. That is delta y by delta x is equal to f of x naught plus delta x minus f of x naught divided by delta x. That we already discussed in the uh, previous lecture. Okay. So, uh, to find the average velocity of the function or of the particle uh, uh, at, the, at a given point or at a given time x naught, uh, first, we need to find the average velocity uh, over the interval x naught to x naught plus delta x. Okay, that is delta y by delta x. Now, next step is to simplify you this expression delta y by delta x uh, as much as possible, cancelling delta x uh, from the numerator and the denominator. Okay, wherever you can. Okay, then the third step is find the new number v that is approximated by delta y by delta x for delta x mod. That means uh, first we need to find the average velocity and the second step is to uh, simplify this uh, expression by cancelling delta x from uh, numerator and denominator and then we have to ap approximate uh, the uh, this expression as delta x uh, is small okay so that is we have to approximate delta x as small okay uh, then uh, the approximate value of that uh, when we take the delta x uh, approximating to uh, to zero, uh, we'll get this uh, uh, the approximate value of delta y by delta x, which is the instantaneous velocity, and it can be denoted by this uh, v. Okay, so that is v is obtained by approximating this delta y by delta x, this average velocity uh, for delta x small. Okay, so we can discuss uh, a question here. Uh, here, the question is, a bus has gone f of x equal to 2x square meters at time x in seconds. Okay, that is, at time x, uh, x, x seconds, uh, f of x equal to 2x square meters uh, traveled by the bus. Okay, calculate its instantaneous velocity at x naught equal to 3. So, we know here our x naught equal to 3 here. So, first of all, we need to find the average velocity. We have the average velocity is given by delta y by delta x, which is nothing but uh, f of x naught plus delta x uh, minus f of x naught divided by delta x. Here, x naught is 3. So, uh, this is the average velocity. So, this is nothing but uh, f of x naught is 3. So, 3 plus delta x minus f of 3 divided by delta x is the average velocity okay so we know f of x is equal to x square is the function uh, uh, <coughs> so we can replace that f of 3 plus delta x is by 2 into x 3 plus delta x whole square so we have to replace x by this 3 plus delta x so since f of x is equal to 2 x square we have this uh, 2 into 3 plus delta x whole square minus f of 3 is nothing but 2 into 3 square clear divided by delta x okay now this is nothing but so uh, taking the square 2 into uh, 3 square is 9 plus uh, 2 into 3 into delta x that is 6 delta x plus delta x square delta x square okay this is delta x whole square actually uh, minus 2 into 3 square 2 into 3 square is 18 okay divided by delta x so uh, this is nothing but uh, 2 into 9 is 18 plus uh, 12 delta x plus 2 into delta x whole square minus 18 is here divided by uh, delta x okay so this is equal to uh, 18 can be cancelled so we'll have 12 delta x plus 2 into delta x whole square divided by delta x now we can divide the delta x from numerator and denominator so we'll get 12 plus 2 into delta x. 12 plus 2 into delta x will be uh, the average velocity delta y divided by delta x. 
Now to find the instantaneous velocity v, uh, we have to let delta x becomes very small. Okay. So if we let delta x becomes very small, small, we have this two into delta x also becomes very small. So in that case, delta y by delta x approximates the value 12. Okay. So that will be the uh, instantaneous velocity v. That is, if we let delta x become becomes very small 2 into delta x is also becomes very small thus the average velocity uh, delta y by delta x approximates the value approximates the value 12 Okay, that will be the instantaneous velocity. So the instant, therefore, instantaneous velocity v equal to 12 meter per second. Okay. Next example is uh, the position of a bus at time x is y equal to 3x square plus 8x for x greater than or equal to 0. The first part of the question is a find the instantaneous velocity at an arbitrary point or at, a, at an arbitrary positive time x0 and the second part is at what time is the instantaneous velocity 11 meter per second so ivide namukku thannittullathu oru function thannittund adhu position of the bus at, at a time x that is given by y equal to 3x square plus 8x first in the first uh, first part we have to find the instantaneous velocity velocity at an arbitrary time x0 okay and the second part we have to find at what time the instantaneous velocity is 11 meter per second okay instantaneous velocity 11 meter per second time on so we have to find x such that uh, the velocity instantaneous velocity v is 11 meter per second run second uh, question so for the first question uh, we have to find the instantaneous velocity at the point x0 so first we need to find the average velocity delta y by delta x which is we know that at x equal to x0 the average velocity is given by f of x0 plus delta x minus f of x0 divided by delta x which is nothing but we have f of x is y equal to uh, we can take this as f of x y equal to f of x which is equal to 3x square plus 8x so this is nothing but 3 into x0 plus delta x that is uh, 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 replacing x by uh, x0 plus delta x we will get 3 into x0 plus delta x whole square plus 8 into x0 plus delta x okay so in the number x in the program x0 plus delta x replace again minus f of x0 so we can replace uh, x by x0 so 3x square plus 8x so here is minus so minus 8x divided by so this is f of x0 so 3x0 square minus 8x0 divided by delta x okay so expanding this uh, we will get 3 into uh, x0 square plus 2 into x0 into delta x plus delta x square okay plus 8x0 here plus 8 delta x minus 3 x naught square minus 8 x naught whole divided by delta x okay now this is equal to we can cancel 3 x naught square so we can we here we have 3 x naught square and here also 3 x naught square now uh, 3 into 2 that is 6 x naught into delta x so 6 x naught into delta x is here and 3 delta x square plus 3 delta x whole square and here we have 8x node 8x node is also cancelled and plus 8 delta x here plus 8 delta x whole divided by delta x so here we can divide delta x from numerator and the denominator so we will get 6x naught plus 3 into delta x plus 8 divided by yeah this is this is the uh, average velocity delta y by delta x now uh, to find the instantaneous velocity we have to let delta x change to zero 
so or, or delta x is very small so when delta x becomes very small uh, if we let delta x become delta x becomes very small uh, we will get velocity uh, instantaneous velocity v equal to instantaneous velocity v equal to that is the approximation of delta y by delta x as uh, delta x uh, becomes very small so when delta x becomes very small this term will be 0 and delta y by delta x becomes uh, 6x naught plus 8 that is uh, this delta y by delta x approximates the uh, point delta 6x naught plus 8 which will be the uh, instantaneous velocity okay that is what is the first uh, question here it is meter per second this is the unit of this instantaneous velocity now the second part of our question is uh, to find the time at which the instantaneous velocity is 11 meter per second okay so uh, we have to find this time x such that velocity is equal to 11 meter per second so we are given that given the instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity is equal to 11 meter per seconds that is we have the instantaneous instantaneous velocity v equal to 6 x naught plus 8 so we have here 6 x naught plus 8 is equal to 11 meter per second so we need to find uh, uh, the point uh, x naught okay that is the time x naught so this implies x naught is equal to 11 minus 8 is 3 divided by 6 that is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 seconds okay so uh, uh, the velocity equal to 11 meter per seconds at the point at the time x naught is equal to 1 by 2 seconds now i am leaving these questions to you uh, to work yourselves so you try to do these problems